Okay, try to get your mind quiet for a few minutes, if it's not already quiet. Find the spot in the mind where all the affairs of the world just don't matter. It's there in everyone. Just dig down a little deep to find it. Otherwise, when you sit down and meditate, this issue comes up and you feel you have to deal with it, then that issue comes up and you feel you have to deal with it first, and sometimes the whole meditation period is gone. And you're still opening up little boxes in your mind. Well, there's a box in there where the other boxes don't matter. And part of it is, to find it, is part of it is willpower. To say, you've got to find this box and you're not going to listen to any of the other imploring voices from the other boxes. Because they know how to pull on your heartstrings. This thing has to be done. That thing has to be done. Don't you care about me? All these little voices you have to say, no, 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 no. Now is not the time. I noticed during my time with the John Fuing that having a sense of time and place was very important for him. And this meant not only with things outside, but also things in the mind. When the time comes to meditate, you've got to cut aside all other things and just stay right here, right here, right here with a sense of awareness right at the breath. Try to make that as elemental as possible, just aware and breath. And any thought comes up, even identifying who you are, you just let it go, let it go. You want to be here with that uh, elemental awareness. And that's where you can find rest. That's where the mind can gather its strength, so it can deal with the other boxes when you come out. But for the time being, stay with that box where it says these things just don't matter right now. There's a part of the mind that has to transcend these things, because after all, you're going to have to let go of them someday anyhow. It's not like you die only after you've finished your work. You, we all leave behind lots of unfinished work with the world outside. So you have to learn how to live with the fact that a lot of your things are unfinished and unsettled, but you have to find peace in the meantime. So you learn how to stay right here and have that attitude that the other boxes don't matter. You'll get to them if you have the time. And if you don't, well, you know that spot where they don't matter. That's your refuge. <laughs>